Welcome to the Isle of Bute. Today we'll be exploring one of my absolute favourite local museums in Scotland, Bute Museum. It's situated right across the road from Rothsay Castle, a spectacular fortress, and there are so many treasures inside, it's frankly impossible to fit them all into one video. Nonetheless, let's go check them out. This is Butte Museum's natural history section, and I'm amazed by it. For such a small island, it's got a staggering variety of wildlife, as you can see. Turns out you don't have to go far from Glasgow for things to get pretty wild. One of the great things about Butte Museum is that it encourages you to get hands-on, in some cases at least, so you can actually hold a great many of the wildlife samples found across the island, like this little guy. I had to dodge quite a few of those in my cycling trips throughout Scotland. Although, this chap here wasn't quite so lucky. The more I learn about Butte, thanks to places like Butte Museum, the more fascinated I become with the island. For instance, I had no idea that it's actually split into two, geologically speaking. Everyone knows that the Isle of Arran is Scotland in miniature. The north half is Highlands, southern half is Lowlands. But the exact same thing applies here on Butte. And that goes a long way towards explaining this amazing biodiversity and why it's such an interesting place to come back to time and time again. Just spent the last couple of minutes tracking down the location of the castle on this map, which is always fun, piecing together how things have changed over the centuries. And that's one of the great things about the Butte Museum, is that it's got all these resources to help you in that process. For instance, I just found out that this area here, which is now reclaimed land, once had a gallows. It's quite near to where a modern children's playground is, which is always an interesting development. And so they've got tons of resources here to help you understand these changes over the years. We've got old maps, which are always great. You've got parish archives, genealogical records, lots of images of both the town of Rossay and the island of Butte. So it's really painting a comprehensive picture of the history. This might be a small museum, but it's got a huge variety of objects covering over 6,000 years of Scottish history, from Neolithic and Bronze Age to Viking Age into the medieval times, and even right into our own era, with items including the original Peter Rabbit. Well, that's a snapshot of Butte Museum. I love this place, and hopefully you do too. Don't forget to check out the rest of Diggit TV's videos, subscribe below, and of course, check out Butte Museum's own website and Facebook page, or, best of all, come say hi yourself. I'm David with Diggit TV.